Meghan Markle has been warned issues could surface as she settles into motherhood after the arrival of her first child with husband Prince Harry. Meghan Markle is expected to deliver her first child in April after the Duchess broke with royal tradition and publicly confirmed she was six months pregnant during an official visit in January. The former actress flew to New York last week to celebrate the upcoming arrival with her longtime pals in a lavish Upper East Side hotel before hitching a ride with human rights lawyer Amal Clooney back to the UK. After her unannounced US trip, Meghan has been warned to prepare to face issues as she settles into motherhood in her newly refurbished home in Windsor with Prince Harry. Royal expert Rupert Bell told Talk Radio, I think where the problem could be for her is cooped up in the royal palace. She is going to be cooped up in a lavished, upholstered cottage in Windsor Park but it's still going to feel lonely. Once the fairy dust settles, once you're no longer the star turn, that's when the issue for her could surface. Meghan and Harry announced they would relocate to Frogmore Cottage, on the Windsor estate, from their apartments in Kensington Palace ahead of the arrival of the royal tot leaving neighbours William and Kate in the London Palace with their three children and neighbours Princess Eugenie and husband Jack Brooks Bank. Mr Bell continued, however much she wants to do the work she thinks is important and the causes close to her heart, hopefully, she can find and maintain the enthusiasm once the reality of being a mummy is concerned and everything that entails. It will be just under a year when she has the baby that she has married into the family who put an immediate strain on her because of the nature and the history and perception of how things have to be done. Meghan Markle will embark in what is expected to be her last foreign visit before her due date on February 23, when she will accompany Prince Harry on an official visit to Morocco on request from the British government to promote post-Brexit cooperation. Royal Tours to the North African Country where the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will pay a three-day official visit, have proved challenging over the years. The Queen's sister Princess Margaret, reportedly warned her, saying, Going to Morocco is rather like being kidnapped, you never know where you are going or when. Autocratic Hassan II, who ruled from 1961 to 1999, was extremely paranoid, having survived a number of assassination attempts so was deliberately erratic in his movements. He made the Queen change cars seven times on the road from Marrakesh into the foothills of the snow-capped Atlas Mountains during the trip in October 1980. Schedules were thrown into disarray and venues were switched between the many royal palaces without notice. At one point, the Queen arrived in full regalia for the King's State Banquet to find that the chosen palace was closed. 